Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Rosa Rubio Giotta, RCG Creations. How you doing? Bringing you today a card. I'm going to swap. And the object is somebody sends you items. And I'm going to show you what all was sent. And you have to use all the items. You create your own base card. And you have to use at least three embellishments of variety. Ink, uh, embossing powder, or additional paper, or whatever. But anyway, you have to add three of them to the card that you're going to make. And you just take a picture of it and you show it on the swap. It's on Facebook. And then you keep the card and do whatever it is that you want with it. So this is what I was sent right here. Actually, this part was with it. But it was two-tone, so this is what the other side looks like. But I wanted to use this because I have this little frog stamp. And you can see here how uh, this is like little, little lily pads. Little, I forget what this, this flower is called. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't look it up. And then this, look, this is in the water. And that's what it looks like. But look at this. Look at that little froggy. Isn't he cute? This came from... It's an unknown brand, and let me see if I can show you what it looks like. Here's a little here. Here's an owl, a penguin, a pig, a reindeer. Um, I think that's a bunny. A bunny, the frog, the little snail. This one is a little lamb, and here's a bear. This one's a giraffe, and then you get all these little messages, and the little mess they're really tiny. The one of them says, hello, best friend, who, me? Thank you, miss you, sorry, like you, thinking of you, and Merry Christmas. And then you got your little bubbles, so you can write, stamp your bubble, and then put the little message on the inside. But what I'm going to do is make this into a wobble card. I got your little wobbles. Uh, you can get the wobbles in the big size. That's what the packaging looks like, or you can get them in the little size. And these are mini action wobbles. So they got they come in two different sizes, but there's that information in case somebody wants to look it up and order some for yourself. They're super fun and easy to use. And just like it says, Peel, stick, and wobble. See? Peel, stick, and wobble. So what I'm going to do here is I went ahead and cut this card, base card out. It's just 8.5 by 11. I cut it in half. And then I'm use my trimmer and my blades. Because my particular, I have the Carl RT200 trimmer. It's a 12 inch trimmer and it's got a bunch of stuff on it. But uh, it comes with, I think it's like 8 or 12 blades. But anyway, here are my blades. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, and 12 because the straight, well, no, I already had the straight edge. I got an extra straight edge because uh, you'll use that more often. But you have a scorer, and then here's a perforator, and then these are just different designs of cuts that the blade makes. Okay. And so, what it is, I cut that out, but now what I'm going to do is put this card together. So, and I'm going to try to stay within my 50 minute time frame. I'm going to see if I can get it done today. So, since I went ahead and pre-cut most of the stuff here, this should go pretty smoothly. And now I'm just going to attach. And I want the words to be on top, so I'm going to put this as far down to the bottom as possible. And still give myself a little bit of border, not a whole lot, a little bit. Oh, I see a pencil mark. And let me erase my pencil mark. I use a pencil. I always do a pencil mark so I know exactly when I do it because I don't really do a lot of measuring. I'm gonna. I'm a visual person. I go by look. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, so there's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top. Okay, you get a little phrase with this ATG gun if you don't do it right. And I'm trying to hurry. I gotta, learn, I gotta remember, I gotta slow down just a tad. 
And these are my little waves. This particular blade is called Waves. But I figured it would be kind of nice because of the water, the water theme here. Now, let me get my glue. I'm going to take the top off because it just dries up, but it doesn't dry inside the bottle, which is nice. Okay. Oops, I'm not using the wrong end. I lost my little uh, pen on the top because I was impatient and I yanked on it and I pulled it off and I went, it went flying in the air. <laughs> I'll eventually find it. It's red, so I'll eventually fly, find it. It's somewhere in my craft room. I don't know where. Okay, there we go. I'm just poking a hole to get rid of all that little red, the dried up glue. Okay. So now let me just squeeze out a little bit. Okay, come on. Okay. Maybe I didn't squeeze enough out. Okay, I'm going to fix this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Well, I was, there was a piece of glue that was really stuck it down inside there. So I'm just going to put glue because it's just on the card. And... I like to work with wet glue because you have some little maneuverability on, uh, when you're doing these um, embellishments like this. And then I'm just going to make it simple and traditional. Stick those over there. Okay. Now on the wobble card, it doesn't really matter which one you put, but Pretty much the way you want it is the solid piece is what you want facing the card because when you wobble this is the part that's going to really wobble a lot. So go ahead and take the backing off and it's perforated here. There's already a slit there for you. So it's just backing just like you are a double sided adhesive and see there's just clear acetate that's on there with the glue. Line this up where you think you're going to... Always make sure that you check your um, die cut to make sure it's going to be covered by it. By it. And I, I already te tested it so I know that it is. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this... I don't really want it so much on the center. And I'm going to lay it right here. Okay. Then you want to take off the back, the paper backing off the top part. If you don't have nails, use your little pokey tool. And it comes right off. See, it comes right off like that. Now lay this. Do I want it this way? Do I want it this way? Do I want it that way? I'm going to do it this way. Okay, I'm going to hold down just for a few seconds just to make sure that that adhesive sticks to the back of the paper. And look. Boing, boing, boing. Do you hear that? So this would be this is a great in a uh, active card. Okay, now oh, I got the little word hello. So let me get my ink. I'm gonna go ahead and use Diversify because this is a small ink. Small stamp, excuse me, not ink. It's a small stamp, so let me just put that on there. Ink my little stamp. And then I'm going to put that, let me make this straight. I'm going to push down on the frog so this way I can make sure I get a good impression. And then just stamp it. There we go. And there it is. It says hello. <laughs> now I'm just going to ha have to use these pieces. So that's just part of the swap. 
I don't have to use them all, but I do one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven of those. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to put it in the shape of the wave. And then one in the center, off center here. You know what? I'm not going to do that color. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to do the blue because you don't have to use every single piece just bits and pieces of it so let's do that on this wave and then let's put this one on this wave I want to line up make sure it's a little straight okay yeah those two are lined up and these two are lined up okay here's my little hearts Let's put the little hearts right here. Actually, you know what? I have one left. I'm going to put that, that little one in the center of these two. Might as well use it. I already have only have the one left, so what the heck, right? just took a little bit of glue on there because I did take it off when I removed it. And again, because it's wet glue, you have a little bit of maneuverability, which makes it nice. Now I'm just going to take off the excess. I like this. I use art glitter glue because it dries clear. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I made. I went ahead and cut out some more of these little frogs. But I'm not going to do wobblers on them. I'm going to put them on some double-sided foam. So they stand up a little bit, but not a whole lot. Oh, where's my scissors? I like to use my Teflon-coated scissors. That way they don't get um, the, residue, the sticky residue. Just going to put one piece of foam on that one. Let me cut another piece here. Put this on this one. That one, I smeared a little bit. See right there by the nose? I got a little bit of flake and I didn't miss it. I didn't take clear it off. So anytime you're in your embossing, if you're off a little bit, try to get a little a fine brush. In fact, let me show you. And I get a fine tip brush. And without touching the, um, the embossing, the powder, flake off the excess powder, the embossing powder, before you put the heat gun to it. Because once you put the heat gun to it, it's see how it turns shiny? That's what you want. But if there's some extra powder, like right here in the little nose area right there, I hope you can see it in the camera. Um, it also, with the heat, stays on there. So you got a little imperfection. Most of the time it's not a big deal. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. It just varies. Okay, so because you know, like most uh, ponds, you have several frogs in the water. So and they're going to be all over the place, but only one's a wobbler. So it's going to be kind of fun. And this card, because it lays flat, you can definitely put it in an envelope, and it uh, it'll f fold flat for shipping. Okay, let's make this guy go. Let's make this guy go this way. It's like, hey. So there we go. And that's my finished project. <coughs> <coughs> and of course, you can always put whatever it is on you want on the inside. I don't know yet because right now my deadline is tomorrow, so I gotta get this posted tonight. <laughs> but there it is, the finished card, and I used all this embell all the stuff that was given to me. And then here is my little wobble. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, we catch you the next video. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and share. And we take care. Bye bye.